I'm Nancy Silverton. I'm the founder of La Brea Bakery and co-owner of Osteria and Pizzeria Moza in Los Angeles and Orange County and Singapore. And I'm here to answer questions from the Serious Eats community. And from Lance Roberts, Nancy, your pizza crust is unique to say the least. I'm wondering where the inspiration came from. Did you know where you were going for with the dough from the start or did you discover what you like through the process of coming up with the recipe? I'd also love to know what your favorite pizza places are from LA and around the country, world, and if you took any inspiration from them. So the inspiration for my pizza crust is twofold. One from a pizzeria in Arizona and the other from a bakery in Rome. The first time I ever had Chris Bianca's pizza in Phoenix, Arizona, I was hooked. I mean, to me, it was the best pizza I had ever had. And I sort of filed it away in my memory that one day, I too will make pizza like that. The second most influential pizza I had was actually from a bakery in Rome in the Piazza Campo de Fiori, and it is the bakery where Jim Leahy from Sullivan Street Bakery in New York worked for several months. There they do a flat pizza very similar to what Jim does in New York. This one is topped with nothing. It's their Pizza Bianca, but it's a very similar crust to the crust that uh, Chris Bianco does at Pizzeria Bianco. And basically what it is, it's puffy and it is tender, crispy, very different than the thin cracker crust pizza or the wetter style pizzas from Naples. What I loved about the crust was that I had appreciation through the eyes of a bread maker. That crust, that open structure was very similar to the breads that I make, but just stretched much thinner. So I rented a restaurant, pizzeria attached, and now I had my chance to put my bread making skills to the test and develop what I wanted to develop as far as a pizza. You know, I have to say in all honesty, it wasn't that difficult to come up with a recipe because I really based the pizza crust on one of the breads that I had been doing at La Brea Bakery that had sort of a similar flavor and similar characteristics. And so with just minor tweaking, I took this bread recipe and sort of converted it to a pizza crust recipe. And you know, we're talking about the same ingredients, right? Flour and water, leavening. 